Hi everybody, this is Mohammad Tausi from Nohopedia. You are back to a brand new video on problem solving and decision making. In the previous lecture of this particular series or fundamentals of management, we have learned about planning, planning process, types of planning, and you are into the lecture number six, where we're going to learn about problem solving decision making, different topics related to problem solving and decision making. I'm Mr. Mohammad Tausif working in the stream of management since 2008 and I have completed my master's in business administration from United Kingdom. So with my industrial experience and the academic exposure, I am going to talk about various topics which will help you before I get into the topic, I request all of you to subscribe this channel and click the bell icon down there. Let us start with the definition and meaning of problem solving and decision making. Problem solving and decision making is an important function of any manager and they need to involve in dealing with several different problems of different intensity and they also have to take right kind of decisions at right time to get the best output. No manager can escape from solving a problem or deciding on a particular situation. Problem solving itself includes some part of decision making. Problem solving is an act of defining a problem, determining the cause of the problem, identifying and selecting alternatives and finally implementing a solution to get out of that particular problem. So problem solving is simply finding a solution to a problem or something which is not running smoothly and problems does appear regularly and they are of different shape, size and intensity. So every time whenever get a problem, there is no same solution which applies for all of them. So it is important for us to decide upon, identify it, gauge it, find out what is the intensity and probability of occurrence, then find out various solutions, possibilities of solving this problem, choose the best one and implement it. That process is called as a problem solving. So now when we talk about decisions, decision making is an important aspect and according to Henry Sisk and Clifton, a decision is an elective of a course of action from two or more alternatives. It is a process of making a choice from different solutions which we find. It needs a lot of reasoning and deliberation. It needs a plan, policies and objectives that helps decision making. Human brain has such a power that it can get solutions out of any complex problems. And decision making involves a lot of commitment. The major purpose of decision making is to select the best alternative which can significantly contribute to the organizational aims. What are the different types of decision styles we have? There are three types of decision styles. The number one, reflexive. Number two, consistent. And number three, reflective. The people who are reflexive decision makers take the decisions at earliest point of time, they don't spend much on analyzing the alternatives, they directly jump to the conclusion. Sometimes reflexive decision makers are wrong in their approach without any analysis, information or evaluation of alternatives, jumping onto decisions sometimes cause a big problem. And the other side of it is reflective. These kind of decision makers collects lot of information, 
takes a lot of time to analyze the information. Get as many solutions possible. Because of this, these people take lot of time in decision making. Sometimes because of this delay or last minute deadline, they may fail to take a right decision. In between both of this, I mean to say reflective and reflexive, there is a style called consistent. Consistent decision makers are those who, tie, who take right time and right information. They have a, they have a, they can easily take the decisions based on the information they have. They collect only important information and they look at the time, the possibility of finishing the, taking the decision in time. So, any person who takes decision in time with the relevant information is called as consistent decision maker. And companies prefer consistent decision makers when compared to reflective and reflexive because the probability of failure of any decision will be reduced when you go with consistency. The next topic we're going to discuss is about types of decisions. The first category of decisions are strategic decisions and operational decisions. Strategic decisions are those decisions taken by the management, the directors, CEO, all the head of the departments sitting at the top level of the organization and takes the decisions which has long-term impact on the working of the organization. For example, expansion of a business in other countries or recruitment of another thousand members into an organization, such type of decisions are called as strategic decisions. On the other hand, operational decisions are those decisions which are taken at the floor level, which means they are taken at the bottom level where they interact with the customers. These decisions are having less impact but they have to be done at a regular level. So, second category is routine, non-routine. Routine decisions are those decisions which are taken every day or every now and then and usually people know how to take these decisions because they are routine. Such as changing of oil in a machine. Non-routine decisions are those decisions which are taken once in a while. For example, these decisions are unpredictable and unknown. They just come up and we have to take the decision. The third category of classification is programmed and unprogrammed decisions. Programmed decisions are those decisions which are structured and they have systematic way of doing things. And these kind of decisions are very easy to take as they are programmed already. Each and every step in this particular decisions are already fixed. Whereas unprogrammed decisions are those which doesn't have any structure and they are not old ones. They are, these decisions are new decisions to be taken which, which doesn't have any structure at all. Topic which I am going to discuss is the pro 